Bob. You're coming up here.
Here in the mic, mic. No. What about the wind as well? Is that not going to pick up? It's going right up, Jermaine. hard to estimate how many people are here. Um, you could probably easily be going towards a thousand. Mm -hmm. You could easily be going towards a thousand. This is uh, Croon, this guy, 21. He's only 17. Yeah. He's going to the Olympics. Imagine that, like. 17. He's got a long, a long history in front of him. He's wearing the captain's armband, the Dutch. Hello and welcome to UCC Sports Grounds here at the Mardike for the Fexco Merchant Services. Uh, Dutch uh, Ireland v Holland, Ireland v Netherlands series. The squads are as follows. For the Netherlands, Jap Stockman, Glenn Schurman, Billy Backer, Sevi Van Ass, Valentin Varga, Jerome Hertzberger, Sander Devine, Sander Bart, Robert Kemperman, Mirko Preuser, Jorrit Kroon, Robert van der Horst, Roger Hoffman, who incidentally is picking up his 200 cap today, Hede Turkstra, Bob de Vucht, and Minka van, Vierden, van der Vierden. For Ireland, David Hart, Jamie Carr, John Jackson, Jonathan Bell, Ronan Gormley, Michael Watt, Chris Cargo, Gareth Watkins, Alan Southern, John German, Eugene McGee, Peter Carruth, Kirk Shimmons, Shane O'Donoghue, Matthew Bell, Mitch Darling, Timothy Cockrum, Michael Robson, Kyle Good, Paul Gleghorn, and Connor Hart. The Dutch coach is Max Caldas, and manager is Mark Tuisen, and head coach for Ireland is Craig Fulton, and team manager is Stephen Barry. So we'll just wait for the national anthems before we get underway. There'll be a presentation to Roger Hoffman on his 200 cap. I'd first of all like, there's going to be a presentation to Roger Hoffman. Of his 200th cap. I'd like you all to give a big round of applause, and he's going to be presented by Stefan Veen from the Dutch Federation. So, Stefan Veen, one of the board members of the Dutch Federation, presenting Roger Hoffman with his flowers on the occasion of his 200 cap. Just some background information. Now we'll we'll just wait for the anthems.
So as the teams line up, getting ready to go in the FEXCO Management Services Ireland v Dutch series here at the Mardike and UCC. It's a mouth-watering prospect here, Andy, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. People in Munster have been waiting this for uh, quite a few months when it was announced. So they've been uh, lined out around the pitch in their numbers. This will be an interesting tie. Ireland on the back of a five-game uh, international Six Nations tournament having only uh, been beaten by Germany 2-0 on Sunday morning and having to turn around and now play the Dutch again. In contrast, the Dutch played last weekend against New Zealand in a three-game series, winning all three games, 1-0, 2-0 and 4-2. Uh, Ireland's fortunes at the Six Nations, not quite as good. 2-0 to Germany on Sunday. On Saturday, 1-0 with New Zealand. On Thursday, 2-0 with Spain. Prior to that, they played India and lost narrowly 2-1. And the opening game of the series was a loss to Argentina by 1-0. So it'll be interesting to see how the Irish react after such a tough week, Andy. Absolutely. Um, you can see pictures on social media of them travelling home yesterday. They looked, um, they looked like forward to going home and um, playing in front of the Irish fans. The last time these two sides met in competitive action was at the European Championships in 2015 in London. And it was a 1-0 result to the Netherlands. Uh, Ireland defending strongly for the game and the Netherlands getting that one goal which made all the difference so an interesting prospect in, an interesting prospect here it will be the Dutch to hit off aw away to our right the ball is with Hertzberger just waiting on the umpires yep Stockman not quite ready yet the Dutch goalkeeper from Blumendal. Ready to go. And we're off. <coughs> Deveen to the captain, Van der Horst. Harland holding a half court press. Step up from McGee. Van der Veerden just unable to hold on to that. So Jackson leaves it for Gleghorn to Connor Hart, chased by Hertzberger. And the interchange between Gormley and Hart doesn't work, and Hertzberger has it. Sideline ball, early play in. That's to Kroon. And Jorrit Kroon, the 17 year old from HTC, earning his fifth cap today, earns a corner for the, the Dutch. What do you make of the start, Andy? Um, it's been it's a bit slow from Ireland to start with. The uh, the Dutch are playing with a massive gale behind them, so you can see that uh, they'll be able to press them throughout the first ha uh, first quarter here. So, uh, so the first corner of the game, Varga and Van der Horst stopping for the Dutch, and it'll be Van der Veerden on the left castle with Sevi Van Ass on the right. It's Van der Veerden. Very well defended there by Peter Carruth. It seems to come off his leg and a second penalty corner has been awarded. Looks like a nasty one, Andy. Yeah. He took the uh, straight line down, very brave line. And uh, I think it might have been the stick more so than the ball. That is uh, clayed it up with him, even with his knee pads. So Peter Cruz looks in a little bit of trouble here. Irish defence is resetting. Three. Corkmen in the team, Connor Hart, World Goalkeeper of the Year, David Hart, and Cork Church of Ireland's John German. And a fourth, if you include Ronan Gormley, who was born in Cork. Bit of local knowledge there for you, Phil. The Dutch, of course, coached by Max Caldas, who won Olympic gold in 2012 with the Dutch women's team, and won the Euro Hockey League in 2008 with Blumendal. And he is up in the tower at the far end of the pitch. Not opting to go pitch side as Peter Carruth limps off. Second corner here to the Dutch. 
Van der Veerden again. This time just to the right and wide. And Ronan Gormley was pleased to see that go outside his leg. So two corners defended by Ireland. And be kind of hard to get us going again. Kyle Good now on the halfway. Cockrum has made a run into space. Cockrum. And Mitch Darling just unable to control that on the end line. Good break from Ireland, Andy. Huh. Van de Veen. Preuser. Varga looking for it. It's been turned over by Ireland. Cockrum. Ireland trying to find an opening to get themselves into the D. John German. Paul Gleghorn. Gormley. Leghorn again. Ireland trying to be patient in their build up. Now being pressed a little bit. Preuser. And Gormley loses that over the sideline. It's Hertzberger to get us going again. Good pacey attack. Preuser. Hertzberger again. And Gormley recovers really, really well. Ball back on his stick. Little aerial out. That's taken by Mitch Darling. And Turkstra unable to take that off him. Gives away the free. German now. Into space. Kyle Good on, coming on the end of this. It falls to Kyle Good inside the Irish D. Tries an upright reverse. And if he'd caught that, Andy, that could well have been our opener. Absolutely. A great uh, great uh, side of space there for John German to put the ball over the top. Just unfortunate from Kyle. Stockman was ever slightly out of his goal. It was a good chance. So the Dutch to get us going again. Varga. Incidentally took a nasty knocked to his knee during the week during his training week had to get four or five stitches Varga again Sherman under Horst Ireland being patient in their press Dutch being patient in their build up Billy Backer fouled by Cockrum under Horst this is Sherman the left back played inside Two Irish defence, three Irish defenders there, and they've won that back from Mirko Preuser from Amsterdam Hockey Club. Cleghorn recovers. Ireland now a little bit of time on the ball. Gormley back to Hart. Hart, the local man from Kinsale. Cleghorn, mistrap from Cleghorn, and Kemperman is nearly in. And Ireland will get a sideline ball just outside their 25. Connor Hart. We seem to have settled down a bit now, Andy. Absolutely, absolutely. But still Dutch are stepping up in a kind of higher press inside Ireland's half, using the wind behind them to their advantage. Gormley. Jackson. That was recovered by Sander Devine. Van der Horst. Backer back to van der Horst again. Very patient build up from the Dutch. Ireland at half court. Sherman now has moved on to right back. Leghorn recovers. Good pressure here from the Dutch in the corner. Leghorn trying to work his way out. Five minutes gone in the first quarter. Still the Netherlands nil, Ireland nil. In the Fexco Merchant Services International Series here at the Mardike and UCC. And it will be Gleghorn to get us going. Looking for Eugene McGee and that's come off Kemperman. Shane O'Donoghue, first time on the ball. Johnny Bell. Gormley, checking out his options. Harden tried to pull the Dutch press open. They're holding the Dutch. No rush here from Gormley. Hertzberger eventually splits. Let's come to O'Donoghue. And Backer managed to get a stick in it and away come the Dutch. This is the 200 cap man, Robert Hoffman. Roger Hoffman, excuse me. 
That's Kemperman. Kemperman, of course, playing his hockey at Kampong, which is also the club of David Hart, Ireland's goalkeeper, and also the club of Alexander Cox, the Dutch assistant coach and head coach at Kampong. Gormley. Bob De Vucht. Stick challenge there. De Vucht backs off. Gormley with the ball. He's going to leave that to Johnny Bell. Just see Peter Carruth on the sideline here below us. He's taking his seat. Maybe that knock might keep him out of the game. Your early impressions of the game, Andy? Um, Ireland been just feeding themselves into it in the last uh, couple of minutes. They get a little bit more stronghold. Certainly uh, getting a lot more possession. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, control themselves a little bit. It was a bit uh, nervy maybe in the opening uh, exchanges, but they're uh, a bit more confident at the moment. Still trying to build the ball up. Um, obviously can't play any overheads in the moment because they're playing the ball straight into the wind. We know the game is being watched on our stream across Europe. Big hello to the Passmores watching in England. As we see Johnny Bell, Gormley, McGee. Harden being pressed into their own quarter of the pitch. That's come to Kirk Shimmons. Shimmons gets that away quickly. And Backer definitely isn't five metres there. Umpire loud whistle. Nothing coming. Gormley to Gleghorn. Croon. Kemperman. Sander Bart to Shurman. Now at right back. Pander Horst. Looks like Peter Kruth has ridden that knock. He's going to come on the pitch in a, in a couple of minutes. Ireland looking to make four changes now. Well intercepted by McGee just out over the sideline. Bart, Schurman, Van der Horst has gone high. Va this is Van der Horst. That was Varga, excuse me. Intercepted by Bell. Lovely work there. Turnover by the Dutch. This is Billy Backer. And the Kroon just unable to control it. Great defending of numbers there, but they are staying forced in the mistake from the Dutch. Cleghorn. As Bell inside. Arden looking to pull the Dutch around further up the pitch. Robson. Bell now carrying the ball forward. It's Mikey Watt. Ball back inside to John German. Connor Hart. Pop back inside German. Cargo looking for the ball up the line. Cargo just misses out on that. And it's Mirko Preuss who comes away with the ball. The ball into space. So that's 10 minutes gone in the first quarter. Just over five minutes to go. Still Ireland nil, Netherlands nil. The only chance so far, two penalty corners from the Dutch after a reaward when the ball was put into Peter Kroot's leg. Hart. Shane O'Donoghue. Tracked by Backer. Wins the free. Hart again now. Pretty direct ball. That's really, really well taken by Mitch Darling. He's pushed himself inside the circle here. Good defense from the Dutch. Eventually, Backer wins the free off Mitch Darling's foot. And Van de Veen gets us going again. So chances at a premium, Andy, so far. Absolutely. I think it's just uh, Kyle Good's opportunity in the after about five minutes from John German overhead. Um, they've been working quite hard up front. Neither side too keen to give anything away. Now, 
Van Ass. Carruth. Cargo tidies up. Bell. Cargo again. Cargo's able to get this forward up over the halfway line. Just checks out. Comes back in towards John German, who get, managed to get around Varga. And space here to Bell on this side. Back out to Connor Hart. The Dutch defending very deep, all but three of them inside the 25. And this looks like a penalty corner to Ireland. And that's come off the foot of Sandra Bart. And uh, the crowd very pleased to see that. And an opportunity to take the lead, Andy. Yeah, absolutely. Very good work there from uh, Peter Crew and Connor Hart inside the circle. Peter Crew still to be war uh, moving quite gingerly on that uh, foot of his, but uh, great, uh, great uh, use of the space here on the right hand side to uh, create the opening and top of the circle. Quite sure John German want to uh, score here in front of his home crowd. There's not many. Uh, chances he's had in the top of the circle and in front of his own Cork crowd certainly will he was certainly flicking well out in Spain looks like only one setup for Ireland Connor Hart Shane O'Donoghue to the left of German it will be German saved by Stockman <laughs> clinical save there nicely put out over the sideline allows all the Dutch defenders to get back Cargo looking to play the ball into the circle German now, Ireland look to play it around. Johnny Bell, we've got an option of Jackson out here on the right. Just misses Jackson's stick. And the Dutch captain, Van der Horst, will get us going again. Trip in midfield, Sevi Van Ass. Sherman tries to recover the ball. Connor Hart just narrowly misses it. Sherman comes away with it. German. Mikey Watt now. No one in front of Watt. He's going to have to go himself. And he wins a sideline ball of uh, Robert van der Horst. Plays his hockey at OZ. Bell. Connor Hart, Hoffman coming to challenge, back inside to Shane O'Donoghue, Bell has Jackson at left back, Jackson now, pushing forward, checks out, support from Bell, Hart, look for the cross field ball, Hart just cut out by Kepperman. Dutch look to play it out. That's turned over. Jackson. Ireland now maybe with a chance. With just over a minute left on the clock. Jackson still. Quick free taken. Into the Dutch circle. He'll be looking for a corner here. Easily tidied up there by Sander Devine. And Hoffman. Oh, that almost reached Kemperman on this side, and that could have been dangerous for Ireland. It's been recovered. Darling. Just off Sherman's foot. Give Ireland a little bit of respite there. Maybe Bell to get us going. Jackson. Back to Hart. 30 seconds left in this first quarter. And that's the end of the first quarter here in the Fexco Merchant Services Ireland v 
Netherlands series here at the Mardek and UCC. Andy, impressions on the first quarter? Um, I, th I think Ireland have been quite in control. They've only, uh, the Dutch have only created chances off Ireland mistakes. A few uh, turnover uh, in the first 30 seconds led to uh, the Dutch corners. But apart from that, I think uh, the Ireland have been quite um, com comfortable, especially in the last five minutes. They've been able to pass the ball around and create a few chances of their own. Uh, we will be back with you at the start of the second quarter in just a couple of minutes. at the Mardike. This is the first of two games between Ireland and the Netherlands. The second game on Wednesday night, Wednesday the 6th of July at 7pm. We'll also be live streaming this game as the Dutch get us underway for the second quarter. Hey. Early turnover, Shane O'Donoghue. Thought he lost control there. The Dutch looking for that to be turned over, but it is an Irish free just outside the Dutch circle. McGee, reverse cross. Up and over, and that will go out for what used to be a long corner. It'll be on the 25. Shimmons. Pressure from Varga. And Varga wins the free. Taken very, very quickly. It's come to Bob De Vogt. De Vogt inside to Kemperman. Early ball played. Cut out by Connor Hart. Ireland possibly with a chance to counter here. It's recovered by the Dutch. Back inside to Devine. And Ireland dropped to half court. Sherman. Inside to Kemperman. Sherman again. Looks for Billy Backer. Sherman again. Now Robert van der Horst. Sander Devin. Support outside from Varga. Tackle from Connor Hart. And it looked to us in the commentary box like that came off Varga's foot. Umpire didn't see it that way. Ball played to van der Horst. Devine has Turkster to his left, chooses to go back to van der Horst. Billy Backer. Nice ball played to Bob, Bob de Vogt, just unable to control it, keep it on the edge of the circle. He's had to come back out again. Sander Devine. Backer. Looks pressure from Kirk Simmons. Not allowing Backer to turn. Back to van der Horst. Ireland holding their press line very, very well at the moment. Kemperman. Devine. And good, patient pressing from Ireland. Results in a turnover. Paul Gleghorn.
Tackle there from Varga. Varga again. Has cut through two tackles there. There's definitely a... F there was a couple of stick tackles there. I felt there might have been a free, Andy. Yeah, I think uh, the referee missed something there. So sideline to the Dutch. Straight into the circle to the referee there. It's possibly gone straight into the circle, yeah. They'll go again. Same position. Little interchange with Varga there, not coming off. And Ireland have a hit out. And the Dutch youngster, Jarrett Kroon, green carded. Just not being five there from Connor Hart. Connor Hart very cleverly and professionally playing that towards him and just beyond him to win that free, Andy. Yeah, the Dutch, uh, Dutch player making no attempt to actually get back five. So Ireland up over the halfway. All but three Dutch men inside their 25. Ireland trying to capitalise on the Dutch being down to 10. Now only Seve Van Ass outside the 25. Leghorn. Jackson. Jackson comes back out. It's now the Dutch turn to be patient in their defence. Hart looking for an opening. German. Dropping out from midfield. Still German. Wins a free from Backer. Outside the 25. Shane Adunahu. Just being told to take it outside the 25. German. Back in the squad in recent months. Cork Church of Ireland uh, talismanic goal scorer. Connor Hart. Attacking the circle. Wins a free from Sevi Van Ass. It's going to be taken quickly by John Jackson. Not taken in the right spot. It's going to be uh, give the Dutch just time to recover. Jackson now taking on Sevi Van Aas. Van Aas, of course, the son of Paul Van Aas, the former Dutch coach. German. Looking for Cockrum. That's not true to Mikey Watt. Mikey Watt on the edge of the circle. Looking to work his way in. Decides to come back out. German. Gormley, it's good sustained pressure here from Ireland. Can we get a circle entry out of it? What? Down along the end line, look to go inside. Jan Stockman, he might have been better to look for someone on the penalty spot, Andy. Yeah, I think he should have tried to look, pull that back, but I think th there wasn't actually a lot of support inside. They'd all kind of stepped around, but it was great patient uh, build up from Ireland and equally uh, good patient uh, defence there from the Dutch. And the Dutch back to 11. Jan Kroon back on the team after his little sit down. <coughs> little bit of space for O'Donoghue. Cargo just missing the reverse trap. So just coming up on six and a half minutes gone in the second quarter here. Still Ireland nil, Netherlands nil in the Fexco Merchant Services. International Series here at the Mardyk in UCC. And we have our first goal of the game. It's Sevi Van Aas with the reverse. Little break from the Dutch, just get inside to the left-hand side of the circle. And the reverse shot's taking it over. David Hart, who seems to be having word with the umpire. And the ball deemed to be high, so it's a free out. So it remains Ireland nil, Netherlands nil. Cleghorn. Gormley under a little bit of pressure now. Preuser. Ball played off Preuser's foot there by Gormley. And the Dutch have moved to a full press. Pressing hard now. German. 
wins the free from Sander Bart. Gormley will look to transfer. Bell. That was left inside, looking for Mikey Watt. It's picked up by Sherman. Backer. Devine. Sander Bart has Van Ass down the line. This is Van Ass. And Hertzberger back inside to Van Ass. Van Ass. Shimmons tracking. Still Van Ass. And Rona Gormley getting down low there to make that tackle. That ball, ball has gone over the sideline. We know we have some viewers in from South Africa. You're all very welcome. Sherman inside the circle. Recovered by Jackson. Backer. Clayhorn making the tackle there. Van Ass. And a first time shot there from Kemperman. The umpire is given a corner. The Irish aren't happy with that. Seemed to come off a stick, Andy, I think, uh, did it? I, I think it came off a stick myself from this angle, uh, also from the sound. Yeah, we certainly the heard the noise of the stick. Came, uh, Johnny Bell seemed to trap it um, on his the bottom of the base of a stick. Ireland may well be aggrieved with this. So, with just under six and a half minutes to go in the Fexco Merchant Services International Series here at the Mardike. Our stream sponsors today, if you're watching on the stream, it's thanks to Fexco Merchant Services. And the Dutch have their third corner of the game. It's Van Aas and Van der Veerden over the two castles. Movement left from Van der Veerden. Good strike, good save. And Backer puts that into Paul Gleghorn's foot. Great bravery there from the Irish team, stepping right outside. Good initial save from David Hart. Yeah, it was at a nice height for his uh, glove save. Um, and very quickly followed up by uh, Billy Backer. So, corner number four for the Dutch. Six minutes to go in the second quarter. Van der Veerden again. This time, run down by... It's quite good. Off his foot, though. I think it rebounded into Paul Leghorn's back. So Same setup, Van der Veerden, Van Aas. Van der Veerden again. This time it goes under Hart. Or in between Hart and Bell, who was on the line. It's 1-0 to the Dutch. I think I think Kyle got the, there slipped just before he started uh, charging down the ball, so he didn't get anywhere near the top of the circle. Just a slip with the back foot, unfortunately for Ireland. So... They're going to get back into the game now. Hart, Bell. Gormley. Dutch now with their tails up. McGee. Pressure from Sander Bart, who recovers the ball. Looks to go inside, intercepted by Connor Hart. John German. Eugene McGee. German trying to work his way. Up the sideline, trying to get past Devine. Bell, Jackson, back out to Connor Hart. The Dutch have dropped off. Oh, Eugene McGee just trying to put that into Car Chris Cargo's path. And the Dutch have recovered the ball. Turkstra. Varga tackled. And comes off Chris Cargo's foot. 
Varga again. Sherman. Van der Horst. Devine. Back to Van der Horst. The Dutch taking their time in their build up. No pressure from Ireland, just holding at half court. Kemperman there, misplacing his pass back to Van der Horst. Three Irish men on him. Now it's Michael Watt looking to push forward towards the circle. Back to Connor Hart. Gormley. McGee. Bell. Almost taken by Darling, but it's intercepted by Van Hertzberger. Hertzberger shot. And David Hart got a pad to that and just came off the pad and up and over. And that's 2-0 to the Dutch. Hertzberger found himself in a little bit of space there. The turnover coming from the pass that was intended for Mitch Darling. And was taken by Sander Devine. A very quick counter-attack there from the Dutch. It's able to jump up on the, uh, the Irish mistake. So just three and a half minutes to go in the second quarter here. It's Ireland nil, Netherlands two. The Dutch having three corners already, eventually converting the third of those corners in this quarter. Five corners altogether. They get us going again in their own 25. Devine. Backer. Patient in their build up. Devine inside to Varga. Backer again. Jackson intercepts. Opportunity for Ireland on the counter attack here. McGee. Umpire saw a foot on that side. Mikey Watt. Taken quickly. Falls to McGee. Back to Watt. Watt inside the Dutch circle. Gets himself turned. Opportunity now to maybe try and win a corner. Working very hard here. And that's exactly what Mikey Watt has done. He's won Ireland's second corner of the game. Yeah, great patience there by Mikey Watt. Uh, using his skill and his, uh, his own foot space there to create the, uh, the opportunity to find the Dutch foot. I thought he did especially well to get himself... Uh, facing forward as opposed to keeping the ball on the end line and that allowed him to just to find the foot so a goal here for Ireland would bring things open the game back up again currently still Ireland nil, Netherlands 2 in the Fexco Merchant Services stream here it will be Chris Cargo to inject German and Hart, the two flickers. Cockrum and Watt on the two sides. It is German. German nice and low. And this time it's a goal for Ireland. Chris Cargo on the follow-up. And Timmy Cockrum was in there as well. German's low flick, parried by Stockman. And finished by Chris Cargo. Just what Ireland deserved, Andy. Absolutely, yeah. The... Um Great display there for Ireland. Uh, great follow-up by uh, Chris Cargo. So, a great response from Ireland. Having gone 2-0 down, back to 2-1. Really appreciated there by the Irish fans. And a light, nice bit of noise. They've all woken up a little bit there. It's got a bit cold in the last little while, and this might have warmed them up a bit. Certainly cold in the commentary tower. <laughs> that ball from the Dutch, just not able to connect inside Ireland's 25. So Gormley will get an opportunity to get us going. German. Up over 90 goals now for John German for Ireland. And well over 150 caps. This is Gormley. Back to German. Hart. Shimmons under pressure from Backer. Does well to hold on to it. Backer gets a stick in there, but it's fallen to Mitch Darling. 
And the Dutch captain, Robert van der Horst, just tidies that up, wins the free. Devine has Turkstra here at left back. Goes inside to Backer. Devine again. Backer controlling pressure from Connor Hart. And Timmy Cockrum. Devine again. Reverse side ball delivered. Cut out just about by John Jackson. Manages to recover, but it's turned over again by Turkstra. Kroon looking for it on the edge. And that air ends the first half. A goalless first quarter followed by two goals from the Netherlands and Ireland respond with just three minutes to go. Ireland have done well to come back into that, Andy. Yes, they have. They were unfortunate to go back by down by two goals, but uh, a mistake after the first goal led to the second one. But Ireland uh, pushed and created their own opportunity and got a, got a corner and a goal out of it. So we'll be back with you for the start of the second half here in the Fexco Merchant Services stream here from the Mardike here in UCC where it is Ireland 1, Netherlands 2. Back with you shortly.
we good to go? And welcome back to the second half of the Fexco Merchant Services series here at the Mardike and UCC in Cork. It's if you're just joining us, it's Ireland one, Netherlands two, Netherlands scoring a corner and then a goal uh, during the second quarter, and Ireland responding late on with a quarter uh, with a goal of their own from a penalty corner. So, the start of the second half, it'll be. Timmy Cockrum to get us going, to McGee, German, Hart, Jackson transfers across to Gleghorn, Gleghorn now is split by Mirko Preuser, Preuser still with Gleghorn, Gleghorn wins a sideline ball. German, whose drag flick led to Ireland's goal. Mikey Watt, pressure now from Seve Van Ass. And John Jackson, Jackson rides the tackle well. Lovely reverse side ball almost picking out. It does pick out Timmy Cockrum, an interception from Van der Horst. Cockrum. Ball played across dangerously into the Dutch circle. It's fallen to Mitch Darling and the Irish player is looking for a corner. The Irish player has looked for a corner. The umpire at the, at the non-circle end eventually gave it. And he now has an issue with how Craig Fulton uh, responded to the decision. But either way, it's going to be Ireland's third corner of the game. Not a bad start, Andy. No, it wasn't for the great ball there by John Jackson. Picked out uh, Timmy Cochran. And, uh, yeah, it was quite obvious uh, foot from up here. Uh, Chris was maybe a bit too slow to let the the uh, engaged umpire know that it was a short corner. But, sure, that's the way it goes. So, German and Cochran. Cargo to inject. It's Cockrum. Low, straight at Stockman. Stockman easily saves that. Deflects the ball out over the sideline. Didn't quite seem to catch that one. No, it seemed to slide off uh, Timmy's stick there as he went uh, as he followed through with his right hand. So we're a minute and a half into the third quarter here at the Fexco Merchant Services Ireland v Netherlands series in UCC, University College Cork. Shout out to all our friends around the world. I, uh, two people here in the States, so Rebecca, Barry and Alan Good watching us live. That's Limerick City. Reverse ball there from Sevi Van Ass. You're a croon. And that has led to an iron turnover. This is Jackson. Has done well to get through two tackles there. Jackson just gets, just loses the ball there, and that falls to Sandra Devine. Devine eventually gives away the free, darling. Jackson. Gormley carries into the centre of the pitch, finds hard on the left hand side. Pressure from Preuser. First touch down the line from Jackson, goes to Mitch Darling. Cargo trying to work his way through, wins a free. Harlan trying to be patient in their build up. Cargo takes this quickly, trying to work his way into the Dutch circle. Van der Horst had it for a second, one back by Cargo inside to Cockrum. And a free given away there. And the Dutch will have a chance just to settle things down to themselves with Van der Horst. <laughs> 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 
Van Aas back inside to Van der Horst. Reverse side pass. Looks for Preuser. Recovered by German. Reverse side pass this time. Looking for Mitch Darling. Darling unable to control. Kemperman. Sander Devine. Van der Horst inside to Sevi Van Aas. Turns. Plays that forward to Billy Backer. Chris Cargo will be disappointed that he uh, allowed Van Aas to turn, but Ireland have it back. Jackson, German. Pressure from Roger Hoffman. Blumendahl. Which, incidentally, is Dutch coach Max Caldas's former club as a coach. Won the Euro Hockey League with them in 2008. Beating Ullenhorster in the final. Intercepted by Cargo. Van der Horst's aerial just not quite getting there. Cargo has it. He wins a free. Very professionally done there by Sherman. Just allows all of the Dutch defenders to come back inside. Mikey Watt. Hart. Ireland trying to find an equaliser. Hello to all our friends in London. Tuning in to see Ireland play the Netherlands here in University College Cork in the Fexco Merchant Services series. Billy Backer working his way out of some trouble there. He's under pressure from Cockrum. And Mikey Watt, an aerial here to Robert van der Horst, finds van der Horst. Sevi van Aas making a run inside. Van der Horst under pressure from Mitch Darling. Just knocks it back to Glenn Sherman and Sherman just looks to transfer. So Ireland at half court now. A mistake by Van der Veerden. <coughs> the OZ man just not controlling that ball. Ireland now with an opportunity inside the Dutch third of the pitch. Bell. Darling just about controls. He was on his feet. The Dutch look for free, but Darling continues. And Sander Devine sticks a foot out there. And that has allowed Ireland to free. John German trying to work his way inside the circle. Varga. Hoffman. 200 caps today. And Cockrum recovers the ball. That's really good work from the Irish, Andy. Yeah, great working back there from the Irish defence. Able to... Uh, Gain their possession back. Try and, and build, some, build up some possession. Given that again. they're on their way back from the Six Nations tournament in Valencia, this is uh, they've really upped it in this quarter. Yeah, they they seem to kind of lose a little bit of energy towards the end of the second quarter, but the goal seemed to get a spring back in their step. Johnny Bell now. German shadowed by Varga. Hart. The Dutch defending very very deep here. Ball played inside, comes off Sander Devine's stick. And that is out for an Irish long corner, which will be taken by Johnny Bell. In fact, is the wrong position, so it will be taken by John German. Leaves it for O'Donoghue. O'Donoghue trying to work his way into the circle. He's won another free. Good pressure here from Ireland. Ireland play out. Bell. Connor Hart. Connor beats two players on his way in. Looking for a stick tackle there, but the Dutch come away with the ball. It's Backer. Good pressure from Kirk Simmons. And now Cockrum goes. Sherman now. Good. Good gets a stick on that. And Ireland have really come alive in this third quarter, Andy. Yeah, they're they're pressing nice and high, making the Dutch uh, work really hard to get the ball out of the back. Bit of composed defending there by uh, the Dutch players and they come away with it. Cargo on for German. Ball played up. This is Kroon. Finds Varga. And Varga plays that back to Robert van der Horst. Inside to Glenn Sherman. Sherman being pressed. 
And Van der Horst now under pressure from Sim Shimmons. Kroon. 17 years of age. Jorrit Kroon. Connor Hart. Puts in what the umpire de deemed quite a harsh tackle on Varga. And it's resulted in a penalty corner. And he's been green carded. That seemed a little harsh. It seemed a little harsh. It seemed it was, it was the worst. Uh, sorry, the first tackle within the, the 25 um, and coming together. But it was nothing uh, nothing heavier than what Connor received about a minute and a half ago up the other end, which I think is what he's agreed uh, by most more so than anything else. From up here, it did look like Varga leaned in. Nevertheless, it is a Dutch corner. Plenty of options here. It's uh, Sherman and Varga who look like the flickers with Billy Backer and Kemperman. Sander Devine will inject. Slight movement, Backer, Sherman. Easy save there from Ireland and uh, David Hart is getting gloved to that and that has gone out for a long corner. Which yeah, eventually will be taken by Kemperman. Great take off the line there by uh, Ronan Gormley. Head inside, Backer. Oh, oh, and Backer has just come through the edge of the circle, took the ball and popped it past David Hart's goal, which means that with just under six minutes to play, it's now Netherlands three, Ireland one. Um, Ireland caught napping there, really. Uh, they got a little bit of a good break with uh, Ronan Gormley taking the ball off the line, but um, didn't really set up there for the long corner. And Backer the wasn't tracked as the ball came through. Yeah. I'm sure that will be one for the video room afterwards. So the Dutch back in control of this game. Two-goal cushion now. And despite Ireland's good start to the second half, it is the Dutch who've taken full advantage of their chance. Van Verden inside. Billy Backer, the goal scorer. Looking to play inside the circle. It's come back inside. Sevi Van Ast trying to work it in past Paul Gleghorn, but it's come away and it's Kyle Good on the ball. Kyle Good now looking to stretch things. The Monkstown man. He's now entering the D at this far end. Van der Horst put, trying to put him under pressure. And a good effort from Kyle Good. Just goes wide. Stockman more than likely would have had that covered, Andy, I think. Yeah, if. There was nobody to go in uh, for a back post knock-in, so Kyle just had to take the shot on himself. Unfortunately, just finding an air post. Van der Verden. Van der Horst. That took to come inside, backer. Van der Horst. Van der Verden. Hertzberger. Back to Varga. Played inside to Preuser. Back to Varga. This is really good work from the Dutch. And it's tackle from Paul Gleghorn. The umpire is given a penalty stroke. From from the angle we're looking at up here, I, I don't think deem that to be a goal scoring opportunity. He didn't wasn't in possession and Paul He's Leghorn seemed to make a clean tackle, knocking the ball away from the goal. The player more so collided with him than than Paul Leghorn, the, the Dutch player. And you'd think even if it wasn't a clean tackle, that it still wasn't a goal scoring opportunity. No. There was a uh, the goalkeeper I know might have been out of play, but there was two or three defenders in the way, so So Van der Verden with an opportunity to stretch the Dutch lead to 4-1 with the... Uh, and he converts easily. So four goals to one, just under four minutes left here in the third quarter of the Fexco Merchant Services International Series here at UCC in the Mardike. And Ireland find themselves with a three goal cushion to overcome. Number 30, Mink van der Verden. 
Cleghorn. Almost finding Mikey Watt. It's the bounce caught him, I think. Van Ass. Varga. Back to Van Ass again. Has Hertzberger further up the pitch. Hertzberger, a quick one too, and it's back with Van Ass again. And very quickly, the Dutch have found their way into the Irish circle. And an absolutely fantastic finish. Coming from Sander Bart, I think. Merkel Preuser, excuse me. Which now means the Netherlands score their fifth goal of the game. It's now Netherlands 5, Ireland 1. Just over three minutes left to go in the third quarter. A very well taken goal there by Preuser, Andy. Yeah, he, uh, he came along the end line, uh, turning one of the Irish uh, defenders and finishing really nicely over David Hart's head into the far corner. But it's been a, it's been a poor uh, three minutes there from Ireland. Hopefully they can uh, counteract it and... Uh, Finish off the quarter strongly. Full score for the Netherlands, number 16, Merkel Pujer. Netherlands Sander five, Bart. Ireland one. The Netherlands preparing for the Dusseldorf Masters next week, where they'll face uh, GB, Germany, and Belgium in their build up to Rio. Jackson not able to get onto that, and that's come to Hoffman. Hoffman inside, first time shot from Preuser this time. Coming to nothing, and Gleghorn looks to relieve pressure really quickly. Falls to Darling, Darling with an opportunity. It's just going to run over the end line. That's two flicks in a row from Paul Gleghorn that have uh, given Ireland an opportunity. Mikey Watt unable to control the first one. As Roger Hoffman uh, just trying to pass it off there. It's gone over the sideline. Gleghorn, Hart, under a little bit of pressure now. Carries that well. Decides not to make the pass. Carries two past two men. Inside up over the halfway line now. Ireland need to get here in numbers. And they push on. The Dutch drop off. Back to Bell. To Jackson. Inside to Mikey Watt. He looks to go up the line. Turned over by Sevi Van Ass. That falls to Sander Devin. Who just throws one. But that's going to be taken by Chris Cargo. Now under pressure from Hertzberger. Stick first. And Ireland go again. Matthew Bell. Eugene McGee unable to turn. Ball turned over by Kemperman, who eventually wins the free off McGee. Under a minute to go in the third quarter here. Van Ass. Sander Devine. Van der Horst. Easily intercepted by Shane Adunhu. Chance for Ireland on the counter-attack now. McGee pushing forward. This is Mitch Darling on the ball. Still carrying the ball. Under pressure from Van der Horst. Leaves it for Mikey Watt. Mikey Watt trying to find Shane Adunhu inside. And Sander Devine recovers possession. Straight to Connor Hart. Trying to attack with a bit of pace now. Under 10 seconds to go. <coughs> Hart look, goes direct. Almost finds Mitch Darling who got a stick on it. And... The Hooter goes, and that is the end of the third quarter here in the Fexco Merchant Services Series here at UCC in the Mardike. Andy, your thoughts on the third quarter? Um, Ireland started off very well. Unfortunately, they couldn't uh, get any. They only got one corner for their uh, their troubles. They weren't able to make that count. They had a bad three-minute period there, but they, I'd say they'd be a bit aggrieved there with two umpiring decisions uh, in the Irish uh, 25, one resulting in Conor Hart being sent off, which was... Uh, Resulted the first goal and then the penalty stroke after that, which was a bit harsh. But So we'll be back with you just during after this little break. It'll be a two-minute break during this quarter. And uh, we'll be back for the final quarter shortly.
here in the Fexco Merchant Services series between the Netherlands and Ireland in University College Cork, Mardek Sports Grounds. Uh, Craig F Fulton, Andy will be looking for a big reaction for his team in the final quarter here. Yes, he will. After their, their couple of games recently, they, they might be a little bit tired, but this is what it's going to be like in the Olympics, playing uh, so many games in so many days. So. so it will be Cockrum to get us going. I don't know who thought about uh, an aerial. Instead, went to Bell. Bell still carrying inside the Dutch 25 now. Still, Bell. And that runs out over the end of six from Johnny Bell, so it will be a Dutch hit out. <laughs> Devine. Varga looks to transfer through Robert Horst. Van der Horst, should I say? Just missed out Kemperman there, but it's fallen to Roger Hoffman. And it's an Irish ball. Jackson. Hart. A little bit of space. Bob DeVucht coming to put a little bit of pressure on. Shane O'Donoghue. That's come to Gormley. Left for Jackson. Varga challenging Hart. Hart carrying up the sideline, has beaten Varga. Still Hart, plays the ball forward. Inside to Cockrum, Cockrum now on the end line, trying to work his way into the circle. He gets his way into the circle. Nothing there, says the umpire. And a good clearance there by Valentin Varga, just to ease the pressure. Not a bad start from the Irish, two minutes into the last quarter, Andy. No, no, they're doing pretty well here. Just need to maybe up the pace a little bit and get a few balls into the circle, create a few more opportunities. John German, inside to Shimmons. It's a couple of those misplaced passes have cost Ireland tonight. Hoffman, Billy Backer, Dutch coming forward in numbers. Back to Hoffman. Game's becoming very stretched in midfield. Kind of having a yo-yo effect at the moment. Devine. Plays his hockey with David Hart at Kampong. As does Kemperman, who's just made that pass. And Turkster's pass not finding Bob De Vucht. So Connor Hart. Mikey Watt. Turkstra keeping pressure on, falls to Shane O'Donoghue. Shane O'Donoghue with the aerial to Kyle Good. Well taken by Kyle Good. Just outside the D. Trying to work his way in. Has support out here from Bell. Just misses Bell with the pass, but it's going to fall to John Jackson. The former Mosley man, Gleghorn. Simmons. Leghorn, back out to Jackson. Bell. Bell looks for Shimmons, finds Shimmons. Shimmons inside Varga, still in possession, Shimmons. Inside the circle, tackle from Sherman. And that fell to Mikey Watt, who... Blazed that over the crossbar. Very good effort from Mikey Watt. And it looked to me like Sherman was beaten, Andy. Yeah. Um, 
It was a great shot, top of the circle. Great work by uh, Kirk Simmons to uh, create the opportunity. Didn't give up the whole way through, and uh, it was just unlucky it didn't uh, fall beneath the crossbar. Van der Horst. Played forward by Terkstra. Bob De Vught just wins a foot there from Paul Gleghorn. Sevi Vanas. Varga. Kroon back inside to Varga. Nicely played. And Varga played that inside, and it looked like John Jackson who got the final touch, Andy, I think, and yeah, that went Jack into the back Jack of the goal. seemed to turn the ball into his own net there, unfortunately. Um, so from very quick uh, quick movement there by the Dutch to bring it back into the area, I don't think John had much, uh, knew much about it, came straight off his stick into the goal. It was a wonderful passing sequence between Varga and Kroon, which uh, opened Ireland's defence up there. And it's now Netherlands 6, Ireland 1. Just over five minutes gone in the final quarter here in the Fexco Merchant Services series here at the Mardike. Crossfield ball, play to Jackson. Cuts inside, finds himself with a bit of space. A shot at goal, and it's a fantastic effort by John Jackson. It did come off a Dutch stick. Up over Stockman and into the back of the goal. And... Uh, John will be delighted to have made up for his previous mistake, Andy. Yeah, a great uh, great effort by John, created that himself, cut across the top of the D in a sliding, sweeping shot as he was falling, uh, getting a little bit of uh, the Irish luck to, to bounce the ball over the, the diving keeper, but great work there by Ireland. So now 6-2. Billy Backer, Van Ass. Ireland will be keen to add, a, add another goal if they can. Van der Veerden. Preuser has done well to get on the end of that. He finds Hertzberger inside the circle. Hertzberger's touch took him out. Ireland have been able to scramble the ball. Still with Van der Veerden. Free inside now. Varga. Sander Devin. Ball transferred neatly by the Dutch. Preuser. Preuser looking for a free. That's fallen to Gorm, uh, Gleghorn. And out over the end line. Gleghorn. Long ball played. Looking for Shane O'Donoghue. It was Sander Bart who took that down and ran forward with the ball eventually tackled by O'Donoghue. Bart gets us going. Sander Devine. Van de Vierden. And Devine unable to control the pass back. And that allow, allows Ireland to come forward with the ball. This is Mikey Watt. O'Donoghue had an option to go to cargo. Comes back out. Bell. Leghorn now playing his hockey at Liz Nagarvi, the former Estonians man. Van Ass. Pressure now from three Irish defenders. And eventually Billy Backer takes it, and that's come off his foot. Ireland doing well to recover the ball. Eight minutes gone now, seven to go in this quarter, this final quarter. Devine comes to German. Mitch Darling has peeled off the back. That's come to Eugene McGee and a good effort on his reverse. Just didn't quite catch it, Andy. No, he didn't. It was a, it was a good movement there by John German to find uh, Eugene in the centre and lucky for Eugene to, to hit the ball over the bar. But some good movement to Ireland uh, taking a lot of positives here in the last quarter. Of course, the Dutch currently ranked world number two. Ireland ranked number 12 having come up from 14 after their uh, exploits at World League 3 and at the Europeans, where they finished with the bronze medal, beating Great Britain. Also Olympic bound. Cochrane. 
trying to work his way inside Devine. Falls to Hoffman, just unable to connect there with uh, Sevi Vanas. German. Matthew Bell. Bell in along the end line, trying to work it in, and that's just come stick on stick contact there. Long aerial played across to Greg Horn, just unable to take it coming to circle. He was under some pressure from Kroon. So Billy Backer working his way out of defence under some pressure from Cargo. Always industrious Cargo. Ver works very hard in midfield. Bob De Vucht. Turkstra and Varga just tidies that up back to Sander Bart Bart again Ireland dropping off a bit Hoffman the Dutch happy to just keep ball at the moment And eventually, Sander Devine can't control that. So, this is Cockrum. He's inside the circle. Cockrum, he's still going. Tried to pull it back there for Mitch Darling. Didn't quite connect. And now it's with Bob De Vucht. De Vucht now. Finds Hertzberger. Varga. Bart. Glenn Sherman. Trying to work the ball in. Good ball along the end line here for the Dutch. And Kroon on his fifth cap. Finds a nice pass in along the line from Mirko Preuser. And it's now Netherlands 7, Ireland 2. There was some tired defending there from Ireland. Trying to create some of their own uh, on the, the far end of the pitch. Small break away from the Dutch. And they created the overlap on the right hand side. So, with just three and a half minutes to go, Netherlands 7, Ireland 2. Goal score for number 21, Jort Kroon. Netherlands 7, Ireland 2. Patient in control, Shimmons. Finds German. Gleghorn. Bell. Has Jackson available at left back. Decides to retransfer. That's gone to Gleghorn. Bell available again. Hertzberger comes to challenge. German finds a little bit of space. Hoffman came inside and allowed German to go on the outside. German now looks for a pass inside. Almost finds Shane Donahue. Who was coming through at pace. Varga now. Devine. Long ball looking for Bob De Vucht there. Just beat him for pace. German now. Just over two minutes remaining in the in this game. And the Fexco Merchant Services series here between the Netherlands and Ireland. How do you think uh, Craig Fulton will react to the, to the game, Andy? Um, they did uh, they did very well in the, the first the first quarter. They started up a bit slowly. Um, they built into it in the second quarter. They did very well. Just unluckily to uh, let the Dutch in a couple of times, but they look a little bit tired here towards the end of the uh, the fourth quarter. And yeah. very understandable after uh, their uh, exploits at the Six Nations. So traveling yesterday would have been quite hard. And the Dutch have been here for. Three days since now. Since Friday. Since Friday, yeah. yeah. 
getting used to the Mardag pitch as well as some of these players mightn't have played here before. I think uh, there are plenty of positives for Ireland to take from the game. Yeah, absolutely. And plenty to work on as well. Sander Devine. Van Ass. Turkstra. Van der Horst. Back to Devine. Ireland at half court. Gormley up now to try and challenge Valentin Varga, but it's Sevi Van Ass. Under pressure, Shimmons. Misplaced pass now. Shimmons and Varga. Van Ass. Van der Horst looks direct ball to Billy Backer and finds him. Billy Backer in a tiny bit of space. He was looking for Bob DeVook there. Well cut out by John Jackson. And Ireland have it again. Gleghorn. Good. And he couldn't quite find Bell. And we're just counting down to the last few seconds of the game. Bob DeVucht, that ball's come off. Uh, Call good stick. The Dutch take it quickly. Reverse side ball deemed dangerous and was dangerous. And that is the final whistle here in the Fexco Merchant Services series here at the Mardike between the Netherlands and Ireland. Andy, your final thoughts on the game? I, th I think there are quite a few positive things there from Ireland, uh, a few things they might need to work on. Um, but overall, a great display of hockey here in Cork, uh, Munster. So hopefully we see more of it again on Wednesday. So a real pleasure uh, coming to you here live from UCC, University College Cork and the Mardike Sports Grounds in Cork in Southern Ireland. And we hope you'll join us again on Wednesday at 7 o'clock for the second test in the series, second and final test in the series. Uh, and until then, it's goodbye from Andy. Yeah, thanks very much. It's been a pleasure here to be with you today, Phil. Really enjoyed it. Thank you. And goodbye from me, Phil. Thank you very much.